Alright, so welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, about what happens when you don't use a good prompt. So, uh, I mean, this is kind of a, an example of a bad prompt, but I mean, let's go even further, right? Let's say I want to have, I don't know, uh, give me 10 ideas for YouTube videos. I gave ChatGPT this prompt. Now, he will give me 10 ideas for YouTube, right? Let's look at them. How to videos? Well, these are really popular. Everyone knows about tutorials, vlogs. Well, everyone knows about them. Top 10 list, product review, reaction videos, travel videos, Q&A, challenges, gaming videos, unboxing videos. Well, there is no unique idea here and I don't like any of them. Let's say I'm not even in the topic for these ideas. So um, this is what happens when you give ChatGPT a bad prompt. How do I define a bad prompt? Well, a bad prompt is something unclear that may confuse ChatGPT. For example, uh, you ask him for something, but I mean, ChatGPT doesn't know what you're thinking about. It doesn't know what you want. So you have to be very clear and specific when you write your prompt uh, so that it knows what your expected output should at least look like um, a bit. So, for example, I could write it. Uh, I could write the prompt I have written above in a different way. Give me 10 ideas for YouTube videos that I can do with my iPhone where I don't need to show my face. Let's say that I am an introverted So it's all about giving ChatGPT good prompts. Good prompts mean that you need to be very specific and you need to follow some structures. Structures we will discuss in the following lectures. And basically this is why people need prompt engineers so much right now. Because ChatGPT has such a huge potential, potential that hasn't been discovered yet. Uh, and Different companies try to use that potential as much as possible, and they need people that can uh, maximize the productivity of ChatGPT, people that can make really useful and good prompts. So that's what we need. We need good prompts, prompts that execute what we need them to execute. So we need a great output. We need the desired output. That's what we need. Uh, and that's what we are going to try and develop. We're going to develop your abilities to generate and create good prompts. So 
This is the video. See you in the next one.